Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another stream. This is the Count of Monte Fisto back yet again for yet another Spooked Over stream. Um, it's been a little bit, haven't streamed all this week. Uh, actually, a real funny week, let me tell ya. Um, <laughs> god damn. I was, uh, you know, like, I, I guess like a floss and I guess I fucking caught something. Um... And then, you know, I guess, like, yeah, after flossing, nothing, but then, you know, brush my teeth. But then when I, like, spat, like, what I thought was a filling came out. I'm like, oh, fuck. All right. And it's like, tink, tink. I'm like, yeah, Jesus Christ. All right. Time to emergency call the dentist. And then, like, you know, I called, got in for, you know, this emergency one dude to, you know, x ray. He's like, ah, oh, fuck. All right. So that tooth, you actually did not even have a filling on. That was just fucking tooth, bro. I'm like, holy shit, dude. So, uh, I got a, uh, you know, got in with a specialist and got a, a root canal, which is fun. Always fun. Um, honestly, the dude knew his shit. He was very, very deft hand, very good with the numbing agents and all that good shit. Um, he did not put the anal in root canal, which is nice. It was very good. And, um, yeah, now I'm in the, in the process of waiting to get in for that crown, though. So if you're wondering where I was and why I didn't stream this week, uh, that's why, which does mean that we are a little behind on, um, well, not, like, really behind on Spooktober, but we do kind of have to, like, stream a shit ton, um, in order to not be behind. But it is Friday, so I wanted to kind of do a one-off, and, uh, let's look at Resident Evil 8, um, which we streamed last year. I have some complex thoughts on Resident Evil 8. But we're gonna do some of the extra modes. Um, I did the same for Resident Evil 2 Remake, and um, the extra modes in that game were really phoned in. It, it was just the main game, but shittier and shorter. And it's like, well, I, I would just play the main game, which I wouldn't play the main game because I already played Claire A, well, Claire and Leon story. There's no Claire A, Leon B, and Leon A, Claire B. Um. So there's just not a lot of replay value in uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake, and I already had quite a few qualms with that game. It's relatively well polished, but like, dude, Game of the Year nominees, it's so... It's such bullshit. I, I don't... Well, actually, I'll, I'll get into why I think that uh, game is overhyped, because I actually do. Now, I was talking to the uh, chat, I think I do have some ideas of why that game's so overhyped. But honestly, like, both Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 8 are very similar to one another on quality. And I would actually say, I think I like Resident Evil 8 more, even though I think Resident Evil 2 is, like, what it does, it does better, but it only does that one thing, whereas Resident Evil 8 does a whole bunch of things pretty well. But I, I kind of prefer the, um, the complexity and the experimentation and the ambition to, uh, like, lack thereof, which is kind of what I thought with the Resident Evil 2 remake, and I know that's a that's a hot take, because the Resident Evil 2 remake has its fans. I like it. I did like that game, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, like 8 out of 10, maybe 8.5? 8.5 for the main game, um, but if you're adding into it the DLC, the DLC actually brings that down to an 8 for me. This one, um, I don't know, probably around the same level, really, but I'd probably, like, side 8, probably like 8 and 8.8, .8, relatively, out of 10. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's just dive into this, and uh, we'll fucking talk about all this shit. I did go in here, because since I streamed last year, which I remember having some, uh, issues running the fucking thing when we were fighting the one vampire in the attic, where, like, you explode the wall to fucking kill her. I, I remember, like, the piece, like, we going into, like... Five frames per second just randomly. Everything else was around fine. That one area was like, oh my god, what's it doing to my PC? But uh, since then, I have upgraded. So um, I did start this, set everything to max. So I feel like this should run fine. Yeah, set everything to max and um, check the volume. So hopefully this shit is good. But yeah, I guess if I was gonna, like, like playing through Claire and Leon's story together in Resident Evil 2 Remake, it takes the same time as it does to play through 8 once. Only 8 once unlocks an additional difficulty, and uh, even just that, like with the different guns you can experiment with, I just... 
I feel like there's more here. There's, and I think with Resident Evil, because Resident Evil is a series where all the games are pretty short if you're just like playing through once. Replay value is important, and a lot of the games have done like helped that by having multiple characters you play through as or um, extra modes. And um, two remake has less main character scenarios than in the original game, and also less DLC or you know extra modes, or whatever. And the extra modes and the remake are, are worse. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I'm kind of let down by your two remake. I really am. But um, this one it's like all right like you know if i had to rank the resident evil games i'd probably throw this kind of in the middle ish um but let's uh let's see what we got for bonuses although once again i'm gonna have to um refigure out the controls i remember the keyboard controls being like probably one of my biggest complaints about this game honestly we have a mercenaries mode and then we have i guess a story mode because this is just kind of Bullshit. Yeah, I, this that's another thing, right? I mean, you can take this early on, but like, I, I really kind of have to. Um, aside from Resident Evil One, it's a pass. It's the very first game in the series. Uh my favorite games in the series are probably in order, like four, then one, then seven. And four and seven have a shit ton of extra modes. My God. And like seven was a pretty recent game, so I don't know why. Like you know, it could be like, oh, these these games are harder to make. It's, I feel like Capcom kind of started to phone in a little bit. Cause I know three, I haven't played that one yet, the remake, and that was not received terribly well. And even though I hated the original, I actually hate the original uh, Resident Evil three. But um, people seem to like four. I'm gonna give that a shot one day. I guess we'll start off with uh, Shadows of Rose. I have to relearn the controls as well. Mercenaries is pretty. Balls to the walls. Yeah, there's no mercenaries mode in fucking Resident Evil 2 Remake. Like, mind blow. I mean, I guess all the areas in 2 are, um... Uh, kind of closed in, but didn't Resident Evil 4? Resident Evil 4 had a couple areas that they just threw together, right? I don't think they were all areas from the main game. Maybe they were. There's the castle, the town, the island. I thought there was one more. Maybe, maybe they all were just areas from the game, but you could have made one. You could have used the assets from 2 and kind of slapped together an arena. I guess two is just corridors. I mean, even the original. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do standard. Yeah, Resident Evil is a series I have a lot of history with, and I, I've played... I haven't played all the games, because there's a shit ton, but of the games I've played, i played a lot of. Hey, Kay. Sorry I'm late. It's okay, I'm just... His last name and middle name are also Kay. You said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation, because... I already told him that's not happening. I see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. No, oh, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Wouldn't Chris be like in his fucking like 70s at this point? I, I worry about Still you. Still banging dudes' asses at the gym. How is, um, how are things at school? <laughs> Seriously, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? I mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Hey! Uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. You know I am. I'm a fungus so zombie, baby. From everybody at school. I mean, like, she kind of is a they freak, though. I really was. So... But I'll fuck that fungal you know, pussy, friends. assuming she's 18, of course. You can talk to... <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human, how I'm some kind of horrendous monster. How <laughs> 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 friends at school even hey, know about okay. that? I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? Are we going to some Disney Marvel shit? I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. It's Sweet Baby Inc., the consultant company that works for Capcom. You know I don't know, have they ever worked with Capcom? I have no idea, honestly. It obsessively and I'm sure they've been touched by DI bullshit, though. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or 
remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No, no, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. <laughs> let's do it, let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean enter its consciousness? Oh, so, okay, so you, your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous. Can we question in why this motherfucker is still holding on to the sample of like the giant the alien death fungus you really think that this can wants work? to destroy the world? Worth trying. I love what Resident Evil to... plots, by the way. Yeah, they used to not be that fucking insane. Uh, Resident Evil How 1. Even do this? <laughs> Shit, even I, 7 in isolation know. and 4 Try weren't that ridiculous. Out to it. See what happens. Okay. Compared to, you know, Code Veronica Fine. and 5 and 6. What the hell? Without further interruption, let's celebrate and suck some dick. Thank you for joining Without the celebration. It's like she sees things that aren't there. Creep. That is what the Metamyces is uh, dreaming about. Uh, Prismatic uh, queen. Something just moved on her Sound head. off if you got a pair in chat. Shut up. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that you're just going to send me a message talking to me about your uh, uncle that works for Twitch and can get me like 10 billion followers. Only if I click that .ru link. All right, this DLC is a hell of a lot more story driven than I thought it was gonna be, which I guess the guy get credit there. They actually put some uh, effort in. I'm still here. Kay. Kay. Where this are you? DLC in Kay. like a dream. Or did we release the metamycy and the plants fucked again? Right. We kind of did a lot of work in the main game to make sure this random dickhead. Working for Umbrella in the lab didn't release the giant death virus. It's fungus. It's completely different. Right, so I can use WASD to walk, and I can use the mouse to move. Sick. <laughs> Actually, I do need the uh, refresher on uh, some of these controls. Miranda's research claims that the Megamyce, uh preserves the memories of people who pass away within its areas of influence, absorbing them into its own vast consciousness. We also know, based on our previous encounters with the mold, that people who are contaminated with the Mutamyce are connected in a kind of mold network. If we extrapolate from this, we can surmise that subjects with strong affinity to the Mutamyce should be able to use the network to connect to the memories of the dead with the Megamyce. Uh, it should be possible to verify this theory using the lab's megamycete sample we collected. 16 years ago, we just needed a substitute subject with a proven connection to the mold. Unfortunately, this presents a problem. Our organization's policies prevent us from directly contacting civilizations who are infected with mutamycete. Certainly, the ethical reasoning is understandable, but it has rendered the confirmation of this theory impossible. It pains me to think of how much mankind could stand to benefit from this preservation and indexing of human consciousness. Possibilities of preserving or even reclaiming great minds. Perhaps there's some way of cutting through the red tape. By just bringing the super death weapon in direct uh, contact with it. Alright, fine. Let's go. Alright, well let's, uh, let's go. Let's see what we got. Wait. Yeah, so the reviews of this um, DLC are actually quite low. 
on Steam. I just noticed I'm in third person, which is kind of weird. Um. Yeah, it's weird. They went to first person for seven, and they're immediately like, no, no, abort, abort, go back to first person. Or a third person. It's, I don't know, it's kind of weird, right? That was another thing um, the DLC added was third person in the main game, which I'm not entirely sure I like that. Uh, I'll be next if not quick. I need to get to that crystal. Oh shit, it's Final Fantasy now. We're all talking about crystals. Ah shit. Nice little tree there. Sometimes a man's just gotta take a shit. It'd be horrible though, you're like, you can't fucking wipe and then you're just taking a fucking, you know, just a nap. Just next to your fucking wretched ass fecal matter. Freaky. Assuming I do not want to touch that shit. Or maybe I do want to touch that shit. Uh, just position. Oh, uh, rotate. Remember they? I, yeah, I remember them really liking the physics puzzles too. They like they were like super proud of it. I remember they like where you had to like roll the ball around. I remember that shit being like real fucking obnoxious. Yeah, I remember there being like some obnoxious things with this game. I, I do the controls, those physics puzzles. Um. That's so is this game was short but yeah i don't know i think overall i mean it was creative i gotta give them props for going like real wild and wacky with the uh you know like plot with like vampires and yeah, let's let this girl out is someone there dangerous here what is why <laughs> Hang tight. I'm gonna see if I can find a key. So I'd think this one would be short, but then again, this paid DLC, so it might be long. I don't know. Yeah, the uh, reviews of um, the Winter's expansion is uh, pretty, um... Pretty low. I'm not a fan of this third person, because like, like, our camera's really high up. I don't know if it's because, like, the character model is short or what. How old are we supposed to be? Are we supposed to be in high school or, like, college or... Interesting. What is that? A rabbit's gonna do something fucked up. That's gonna open up right there. Do we have any fucking powers? Aren't we supposed to be like a freak mutant bioweapon? Yeah, that's all we did? Oh. Weird. Oh, we're gonna be like a fucking X-Man or some shit. Rose. Oh shit. God damn. That spooked me. Alright, we got some fucking uh language of God's chosen probably talking about plans to uh, destroy three towers in New York to make people think it was only two my name. to create art simply add to the rabbits carcasses decay is not an issue no it spruce them up with a bit of makeup and makes them seem more alive V for journal got it M for map. Of course. I'll say this location kind of vaguely reminds me of uh, Amnesia the Dark Descent. Great game. I think it's underrated, honestly. Streamed it. Years ago. It's not like 10 out of 10 or anything, but I mean, you get that game for what, like 2 bucks now on sale? They're absolutely worth it. You know, you had one job, not to step in the giant pus. God damn. 
typical woman. Oh, what's good, Gaseous? How you doing tonight? <sighs> Funny. Why, why, why would you... I just step on it. Funny seeing empty get stuck on the stealth segments for an hour in this one. Oh, alright, we have a massive fucking inventory. Holy shit. Um, crafting. Yeah, that was another thing in this game, wasn't it? Alright, neat. Yeah, this is a restaurant. Oh, no, 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 that's in front of me. Kind of like a haunted house DLC, honestly. So far, very on rails. Gross. You nasty bitch, I'm here to help you. Doing all right, watching Animu in the Discord, gotcha. I appreciate you just dropping by to say hi, all good, man. What Animu are you watching? I may mean to like watch some more shit. Yeah, finish, uh, uh, what, the, the like, sci-fi space one? Not, <laughs> that, that really narrows it down, doesn't it? Uh, fuck, it's like, it's only like, it's only a couple episodes. Uh, very visual. Dude stuck on a planet, escapes, has some weird, like, towers chasing him. Um, fuck. Oh god, now it's gonna kill me. That's a short one, so I'm like, well, let me, let me watch a short one to try to get back into it. Like, Animu, in general. The fuck was that one called? Jeez, Neth's gonna drive me insane. Oh, God. Oh, man, I just don't remember it at all. Don't remember the name at all. I know I have it. I know it's on my hard drive. But, uh, shit. Shit. Yeah, I want to finish that one. I want to finish, uh... Well, not finish, but like, at least continue a little bit more of, a. Uh... One piece. I do think that's good when it's hidden. It's just there's a like the the filler's awful. So much of it. But when that show hits, it hits like really obscenely hard. Um and there's a couple of others I want to revisit. You watching Legend of the Galactic Heroes? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I remember seeing the first two seasons of that. Quite pretty good. A lot to chew through though, like a lot. Very thick, meaty anime. Okay. Use. Are fighting the bitch from Seven? I know she really likes to draw pictures like that. Keeping on, yeah, I'll, I'll fucking remember what that wait, anime wait was up. called sooner than later. God damn, it, I'm just like mad I can't remember it. Yeah, cool sounding name though. It really looks really cool. I think it's like early 2000s. I guess that was another thing with this. Uh, Help me lift. With this game, I remember was there was a lot of parts that was just kind of on rails. <laughs> I think that's a lot of uh, modern, like, AAA games now, is they're all, like, going for that cinematic, like, Uncharted, and, uh, hey, wait, where are you another going? one, um, no, which is also Naughty Dog. Yeah, I'm hoping that we're seeing a, a big-ass shift away from, um, this is just the trends that modern gaming's going. Don't get me wrong, I really like the, the visual, um, I don't know. Intra coolness. Uh, spectacle. There we are. The visual spectacle that modern games have with all the 
Fucking interesting things to see. Cinematic shit, but when it's like too much like that, I know. Final Fantasy 16, which I'm about to be playing, uh, I think, like probably December or. Or uh, even January. I know that's gonna have the uh, kind of the same Are you thing. To me? Where it's like, oh, stay on rails and watch a lot of movies. Missing. Oh no! It's gone. Do I really just not get um an item in this? Like, no weapons, really? Hmm. Kind of lame. This is very bad. Don't get me wrong. There, I, God, I think there was, um... Yeah, the Saw Section 7 and one of the DLCs. Where it's just very, like, oh, solve the puzzles. And it's like, it's, it's neat, but when there's only two of them, you know? You need to find that handle quickly. Go deeper. Don't mind if I do. I kind of wish half of it wasn't, um... I see the lock there. It wasn't, like, cinematic shit. Scratch my name. All right, continue on. Oh shit! Yeah, and as being like cinematic, I, a lot of lot of um jump scares. I know Seven had that, but Seven also had some like real intense um action segments, like real fucking intense. Fine, get fucked up. Cool. I have a quick save here. I really wouldn't want to do all that shit again. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Like, that's all I was saying is, like, doesn't this bitch have superpowers? I thought that was, like, her whole shtick. Be cool if we have, like, some mana shit going on. That'd be cool. Do the exact same thing happened at my kid's kindergarten last week. Yeah, shit's getting crazy in the modern age. All right, the thing's like right there. Oh god! All right, what am I supposed to do then? I don't know. What, what do you want me to do? Well, what am I supposed to do? Oh shit! God damn! Where's my, like, super magic power? What? A dead end! Well, he already got hit once. Yeah, the problem is so far, unless that, like, that researcher is evil, also doesn't really make sense. Like, hey, crazy fucking super demon, get in contact with the last of the, uh... World destroying fucking fungus. Please, it would be great. Anyway, what's good, skins? How you doing? Alright, this is running forward then. All 
All right, ducking in, going through here. God damn, could she have dressed up a little more sexy before the uh, the trip? But once again, not sure how old she's supposed to be. I'm assuming 18. I'm assuming college age. Again, I don't know if D a Capcom was being consulted by DEI bullshit. They might have, though. What? What are you? Not enemy. Okay. What were those things? What is happening here? How? What is this? Where am I? Not until I get this out of my body. There's a crystal here that will remove the mold. I, I need to find it. And I'm not leaving until I do. Who are you? I guess it's her My parents, I'm angel? assuming. Do you Which I don't know name? if they died at the end of eight, I can't forget. You're an angel then Gabriel, Michael. Then Umbrella raised these fuckers. I think it's something like that. Okay. Michael. What now? Uh, oh, there's there's there are fucking save points. Interesting. Explore your surroundings. Alright, you didn't really want me to explore before, dickhead. But I guess I'll do so now. I'm trying to find a video I stumbled upon while searching GIMP skateboarding. Should check out drive by insults. That's some old school shit. A little on the mean side, but it's funny. Yeah, let's check out this room first. I guess it's just reusing assets from, uh, eight, it looks like. But it's spooky, and you don't have weapons. Which is, you know, what I call the haunted house experience. Like, they were like, remember that part in 4 where he plays Ashley? Like, cool the first time, then boring on subsequent playthroughs? Let's use that for a DLC in every subsequent Resident Evil game. Uh, it is a grand honor that you would bestow upon me such an important task. I can report the liquid void you provided has some splendid properties. Its most obvious use is for my dogs on their hunt, aiding them to pursue our quarry. It also does wonders for slowing down and corralling the rabbits. Uh, some have even been foolish enough to stumble into it and been completely engulfed. With this, I am certain I will be able to fulfill your expectations and get you the results you desire. All right. But yeah, drive-by insult skins is admittedly mean, but uh, back in 2010, that shit was funny. And uh, I, I some of it is pretty funny. Like when you know he's, they drive past the guy loading groceries into his car, and they're like, "Nice grape juice, ass dimple." I mean, this is a fucking. That's a great line. All right, we got. Oh, okay. So it takes up multiple. All right. These poor things. Yeah, could easily fuck with you. <laughs> yeah, but what if I find some more goodies? Yeah, what's his nuts? The fucking fedora tipper from uh, the main game. <laughs> Looks like we 
caught another. Oh no, it's fucking him. It's Fozo. Nice. Lively now, aren't you? You should have put that effort into running. It would have made the chase that much more thrilling. Uh, let me go! Let me go! It would seem this little rabbit lacks the necessary fortitude. <laughs> a pity. You had shown a little grit and actually escaped. That purifying crystal would now be yours. The crystal? <gasps> Who's this? Oh, wow. Oh, now we have a new little way to completely to fuck up. Let's see how fast this one is. Find her! Hunt her down! God damn it. Run, run, run. Um, all right, there's a left and right. Really? I have like a fucking. Thank God, a way out. Fifty fifty shots. Shit! What now? All right, well, we're getting progress. I'm in danger, need a weapon. Yeah, no shit. It's really nice to have a gun. Seriously? Where am I gonna get a gun? What, like this? No, not like that. Fucking stupid bitch. What would you do with a gun? Point and shoot. Nice. Alright. No, fuck, word of the shot. Literally. Get some more handgun. Nice. Five bullets. The shittiest box of ammo you'll ever find. It's grabbing at my legs! Better not touch this stuff. Yeah, so what do you want me to do? Alright, so I'm not supposed to shoot the flower, even though it looks like I should, right? Look like there's anything over there. I wonder where I might find the next little rabbit. Wire to the purifying crystal. That's locked. There is might be something over there. They're gone. I'm back in the main hall. I could take a peek at the antechamber. But what about the uncle chamber? This must be the crystal. Yeah, since I touch it, this shit's gonna go fucking terribly. Like, oh, you fell for my fake crystal. Let's get all the shit we can first from here. Uh, okay, uh huh? Bring me that which I see through eyes. Cool. All right. So get key, get shotgun. Got it. They should try to interact with the crystal. I don't know. It seems stupid. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. I think I honestly really do like uh, Resident Evil 8 more than 2 Remake. And once again, the, as far as the base game goes, 
Remake 2 does have, like, good gameplay, but after you play through it once, you're one and done, dude. Because the hardcore mode seems like it sucks ass. Hmm. Oh, wait, was that another typewriter? Yeah, it was. Nice. We'll do this for another, like, 20 minutes and swap to the uh, mercenaries mode to see how that is. And then we'll swap back here, you know? Large crystal glowing with a pale blue light. I can't just break that glass. Disciples await their masks, bronze, silver, gold, with their garb arrayed. The light shall be uh, something. I need to find these masks to unlock it. Alrighty, let's go. Alright, now that I have a gun, this seems more interesting. The uh, beginning was really, really, really on rails. I was kind of worried that the whole DLC was going to be like that, but so far... This seems a little bit promising. Shit, come on, motherfucker! God damn! Alright. Isn't there a quick uh quick heal button I had? Uh, maybe not. Um There we go. Ported that on our hands, and that fixes our face's soul being sucked out? Well, whatever. I think about it too much. Probably didn't need to kill that zombie, but I wanted to. It's kind of the point, right? So gotta remember, it's uh, red until you get everything that turns blue. That is pretty handy. When it's blue, you got everything. Getting a value in here, though. Jeez. Looks like it takes like four to five shots per kill, so you might have enough to kill uh, two. Most likely just one, you gotta be careful. Anything around here. I don't see anything glowing. I remember at least with seven, you kinda have to like, well, seven was first person, but yeah, you had to like be looking like right at someone to pick it up. Oh, all right. I thought that this was going to be into the next room. Hey, bolt cutter, sick. Nice. So that is another thing. That's locked. Nothing there. Over here. Should help. If you really want to help, you could back me up against those things. Or give me a bunch of fucking ammo. What? So I'm on my own? Great. I guess we could say, even though we just use our shit. I mean, yeah, though we can't. Playing on standard mode, I mean, I'm assuming that we can make some mistakes. Yeah, it seems like this is the kind of game that uh, Capcom really, really wants to make. I don't know why they seem like third person so much. I'm not saying I have no problem with third person. Just I truly enjoyed. Uh... Seven a lot. I kind of like the how, um, you know, one, two, and three have a style. Four, five, and six have a style. Then seven, eight, and uh, supposedly nine would have a, a yet another style. What if I like look at that though? Is 
see if like that adds to the map, but not that one here. I wonder if there's a reason. Part of me wants to shoot it, but it doesn't seem to be shotable. Oh, I can't go back in there. Interesting. All right. I guess we haven't really tried to go upstairs yet. I'm assuming that's gonna be a wall of goo that's gonna block us. Or maybe not. Neat. Alright. Oh, there we are. There's the wall of goo that's gonna block us. So I'm assuming I have to destroy all of these, uh, like, Metroid-looking things. It's like something you'd see out of Metroid. See, which I need to stream uh, Metroid um, Fusion. So the Metroid 4, right? Yeah. All right, any motherfuckers want to die? wants to die, motherfucker? I got a gun. It's gross, lumpy things around there. Yeah, and I tried to shoot him, and it didn't really work. Oh, there we are. We got an herb. Look at that. Break core. You mean that gross lumpy thing? How am I supposed to break it? Shoot it, dumbass. Oh, all right. My powers. I literally came here to get rid of them. Well, you can use them before you get rid of them. Jesus, like, oh my god. Okay. I Fine. love it when you play as a tart. How? What am I supposed to do? I know, it's your fucking powers, bitch. Need an amplifier. You have to show the power of rock. It'll be like that game Um Jammer Lammy. Alright, well, I want fucking. There's more shit first, dickhead. Because I want to. I'm assuming there's more shit in here, yeah. Gun, casino, it's all in my mind. Very new age uh, sequel to Um Jammer Lamb, or I guess Parappa the Rapper 2, which hopefully that game is good. I don't know, I never really heard much about it. But uh, you play as someone. Just freaking out, having visions of them, you know, celebrating, but really they're just shooting up places. And then when he wakes, he's like, oh god, what have I done? Goddamn, this courtyard is a little bit big. A little bit big of a courtyard. Just need some of those dank herbs. I mean, it's probably right because there's that one area in the start. No, there's this shit too. It is the exit. You better believe, oh god, punch the mic. Uh, you better believe that this is probably gonna be one of the areas you fight in Mercenaries. Anytime you play these games, anytime there's an arena, and I, once again, I think that's a why there was no Mercenaries mode and 2 remake, but you could have made an arena, goddamn. Like, oh god, that would require effort, fuck you. When that's three. There's that Parappa the Rapper 2 video of him rapping Chinese, Chinese, Mexican. <laughs> Again, I might have seen a clip of that before. I think I've seen clips of Parappa the Rapper 2 before. It's been a while, man. Kind of a damn shame that um the like the 
like fun, weird experimental rhythm game genre, subgenre, I guess, died. And fluid and gunpowder, probably, uh. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. Crafting! Um, alright, so you can make chem fluid or bullets. I mean, uh... I guess healing. I have one thing of chem fluid. Okay, so we don't want to go to the library. Li library was a boss fight. I remember that much. Pretty significant boss fight, if I remember correctly. Yep, alright. So we're going to the library. Exactly what I wanted. This seems more interesting than uh, some of two's shit so far. Two, you kind of went through the same areas as well, but the difference being in, in two, you just played as... Like, oh, here's a new character model you're playing as. Uh, no story. Well, I mean, barely any story. Oh, so I have two gunpowder now and no chem? Goddamn. Alright. I think that genre died per se. It's formless, so like every your rhythm game is pretty different mechanically. <laughs> yes, there's indie rhythm games. I haven't really seen too many of them. Oh come on! I was running away. Fuck off. Yeah, can, let me, let me, like, God, I don't know, um, controls, what do I want? I want, like, the aiming to not change sensitivity. Actually, I hope I didn't just change that. There we are. All right. So th these are set. Why are they set to max? What the fuck? Oh well. Yeah. I want. I want that to go up when I'm moving camera sensitivity with mouse. Something like that. I think that's a little bit too much. Um. Sorry, Gav. This. Something they gotta do, Jesus Christ. Uh, where was that? Where fucking where was I? God damn it. Look at that, just go fucking ape shit. My VRAM constantly changes. It's some next level VRAM, baby. Um No, where the fuck was that? Where the fuck was I just now? Oh, camera. And I, you wouldn't think it's a camera setting. I would think it's like in like control settings, you know? All right, bop, bop. There we are. Yeah, honestly, that feels that feels a lot better. Okay. And I've been like picking up my mouse to fucking move. I still am a little bit, but not nearly as much. No 
way I'm waiting through that. Maybe uh, I can find a way across. And in the waiting room, oh, on the library, there might have been more shit. But, uh, oh, we did get chem fluid, didn't we? Oh, huh. All right. Neat. Jesus. Is that a flower I have to kill? That might be a flower I have to kill later on. I had to use my powers, but the thing like didn't really tell me how to use my powers, which is weird because I feel like she would should know how to use her powers. I don't know. Is there anything down here? Uh, I can't use my powers. I came in here to lose my powers. Like yeah, yeah but you could still use your powers to like, get to the point where you can lose them. What the fuck. Well, it would make this DLC too cool, and also easy. Uh, how's this laid out? All right, so we do want to go over here first. And there's nothing, I love that. Reward me with something. I don't know. Maybe an Easter egg, a document. I don't fucking know. But if I shoot, I waste bullets. I think. This nice. Sure, we can trust that thing. That herb. I found the means of dramatically destabilizing parts of the Mutamycete network by introducing a disruptive force to block out the auto-inducers they use for communication. For example, the hard-packed cores of mold, known as sclerotia, begin to break down the cellular level and disintegrate when thus disrupted. A sclerotia form when the Mutamycete develops a new location, serving as a sort of anchor point or foothold. They are often associated with a patch of liquid void through which the mold is spread. When the auto-inducers of the sclerotia are disrupted, it begins to break down. Any liquid void... This is a word salad, dude. Any liquid void connected to the sclerotia will also disintegrate. It would appear that stabilizing the sclerotia and signal indicating that location is no longer viable for mutamycete habitation, triggering a full-scale retreat. Uh, otherwise, destroy the bulbs, is that what it's saying? Or, yeah. I'll save again. Can I collect these again? So, what am I supposed to do with this thing? Focus? It's folk. Get folks, bro. Your guardian angels, the ultimate fucking warrior. Oh, that'd be the tits, dude. I feel different somehow. Use on core. Try now. All right. Let's see if this works. Any core? Or to get used up if I used it once. Oh shit, can float. There we are. Um, we already have one on hand. Let's make more bullets. Oh, we finally have fucking powers, Jesus. Nice, we got ammo out the ass.
Alright, neat. Alright, so now we're just kind of cleaning shit up. It's like Mario Sunshine. Or I guess also Luigi's Mansion. You're also running around cleaning shit up. Gunpowder. I think next thing I might make is more chem fluid, honestly. Nice recording memes. I recorded 115 game clips. I gotcha. That's the one plus side of uh, the way I do is just, yeah, upload my streams to YouTube because then whenever I make a video, you can just download the uploaded shit. Sometimes that does give me shittier quality if it's like the YouTube version. But uh, usually it works out fine. Alright, we'll play the next save point. And then uh, hop over to mercenaries mode. I was gonna stop around now, but now that I can like fucking use mind powers, it's a little cooler. Gotta gotta give credit where credit's due. Took a sweet fucking time though, but uh, hey, you know, they're trying to tell a story. All right. I can't get around it. I need to get rid of it. Thank you. Right now, planning the visuals for the vid in the script file. Gotcha. I gotta do the same thing a little bit. Have parentheses. Sometimes I'll, I get struck by uh, inspiration while on the video line, you know, or the editing line, or the timeline. Whatever the term is. Once again, though, I only like make one video a fucking year, though. That one, it looks like I had to break through shit. Or do something else a different direction first. Alright, so I don't have any charge. I thought that maybe the, like, little area in the bottom right would, uh... Be like a power meter or something. Do I get a gun now? Ooh, high capacity mag. I forgot about that. That is cool. Once again, there's a lot that I really liked about this game. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. Uh, there's just also a lot that I was, like, not really feeling either. Um, once again, I feel like, you know, both Resident Evil 8 and Resident Evil 2 Remake both being, like, really highly praised games, like, critics-wise and fanbase-wise. And then playing them, like, yeah, but this one's, like, about an 8 out of 10. This one's about an 8 out of 0.5. And it's, like, I know, it's kind of like a... A boner kill, you know? Killed my boner. Small, easy to use semi automatic pistol with average firing power. I, can upgrade. I guess not since the upgrader man is evil. See, like my Starfield script, I wrote two thirds before the game release for pre order play. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever play Starfield, honestly, and I think I think I'm very fine with that. What is what is that a one game that's the game is like Star something, but it or like something Star. It kind of looks like Terraria, but you're like in space with like a ship. I don't know. I, I never really seen anyone talk about that game. Star Sector? No. What am I thinking? It's like it's like really kind of like Terraria. I don't fucking know. I have no idea. Sure, if it's any good or not. <laughs> Weird. Maybe that'll open up when I open up that area and I can come back through. Alright, but in the meantime, let's go through the library again. Oh, wait, no, no, right here. Jesus. Oh, that was the stock fucking pot break sound. Holy shit. Nice, now that you're just giving me a whole bunch of ammo. Shit, I actually appreciate it.
Oh shit! God fucking damn, you scared the shit out of me. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I forget what the fuck it's called. If you look at like games similar to Terraria, I might find it. God damn, I didn't realize I was walking in slime. Now he's gone. Now he's back? You know, infinitely respawn, right? No. Interesting. Starbound, I think that's what it is. Is that one any good? I remember seeing that, but never really thinking much of it. All of a sudden, I need health. That's annoying. Oh, yeah, that might be the health I need. Not that we'll take it right away, but. That the, yeah, that was all that was in here. Neat. Yeah, I'm digging this more, honestly, right here. Uh, a lot more than before. Where before it was just me. Running around. Yeah, to my understanding, it seems a different... I mean, I don't really know because I didn't play it, but uh, to my understanding, it's um, like Terraria, but less focused, or just kind of a negative, but you go to a bunch of different planets of mine, which is cool, and you have your own spaceship, which is kind of cool. So it's like a little sloppier, but a bit more, uh, I don't know, out of the box. I don't know what the fuck word I'm trying to use, even. Got that, got that. Got gunpowder if we have find more uh, chem fluid. And like, I could have just ran past them, but you know, you kind of want to kill these motherfuckers. I don't know. What are you looking for is Hawk Tua. What the fuck even is that? I keep seeing that mentioned. Is it like some sort of fucking podcast or some shit? Lock from the other side. We're going down here. What? Have some shit through there, good. And that's three shit. Tri tri tricular key. Okay, I remember this like oh like goddamn. What a weird yeah, I remember the just the controls in this game being really fucking weird. You gotta click down the mouse wheel. And then move around your mouse. And it's like super fucking sensitive and floaty. So I guess we just go out there, huh? Hey, there we are. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted chem fluid. Fuck. It's nice that I can make bullets, but I need heal.
Let's see, Hawk Toast, some shit, Chick said it on TikTok. Lost special job, and now some creeps trying to capitalize on her volatile popularity by starting a podcast called Hawk Tour. It's amazing how some of these things that should be lasting like two milliseconds last way longer. There's like meme potential, it's like, that's how you know it was a slow meme month, you know, when shit like that starts to trend. Monocular door deep in the basement. Right, deep in the basement. Monocular door. All that's here. Anything else? Nothing over here. If I get that mask, I'm assuming bad shit will happen. It just opens a path. I'm assuming this also opens a path. Let's do this now. So disconnecting from the world that this meme should have gone over my shoulder. I gotcha, I gotcha. I've seen other, uh, another motherfucker mention it, so I thought it was like some sort of podcast or some shit. Join many Discord servers to browse their meme collection. There we are, that's what we want. No, wait. I have herb and gunpowder, but no chem fluid. Fuck. Alright, well, you can find some more chem fluid. That is the limiting, uh,. The limiting supply. The limiting material. You're limiting material, that's another thing I need to play. I need to play, uh... Fucking... Some more real-time strategy. Oh, I finally got it. Alright, crazy monster jumps out now? Alright, fuck. And that's also cleared. Wow, alright. Seems like it'll be a pretty short DLC, but this doesn't seem bad, honestly. It's actually, like, I, I was kind of hoping for shit like this in Resident Evil 2, uh, remake, but there wasn't. What's wrong? D everything! None of this was supposed to happen. No. The reason I came here hasn't changed. I need that crystal. Yay! Arcan fluid! Fuck yeah! Thank you, game. Alright, I guess if, as long as we just void damage, uh, next time we find chem fluid, we'll. Uh, oh, wait, that was chem fluid. No, that was first aid. Alright, next time we find chem fluid, let's make bullets. Our uh, bullet collection's run a little low. Maybe we should run past the zombie or two. It's always the, uh, the trick. Kind of game called Mutant Year Zero. Daffy Ducks in it. Bat wings or something. Mutant Year Zero. This sounds vaguely familiar. Oh wait, so when I find those, I, my powers go up? It said, uh, powers go up when find. Alright, yeah, that's pretty cool. Was that locked from the other side? I guess we should check out the kitchen real quick. Yeah, there's like fuck all in here. I don't even think that's gonna be openable during this uh, DLC. Yeah, this doesn't seem that bad. I don't know. I'm kind of surprised this has such uh, low reviews. I'm kind of curious to see what the um, reviews for Resident Evil 2's DLC. I didn't even look at that. I feel like Resident Evil 2's DLC should be shit. Because it's frankly shit. Now we can open this one as well. Now we have upstairs and down there. 
Ooh, that's a lot. Neat! It's almost a little Metroidvania, isn't it? Cool. Yeah, so far, I don't know, I feel like the main lines get more love than the, uh, remakes, but then again, uh, the remakes have three, but the main series has six, so I don't know. I don't know, man. Alright, well, which one is it? Uh, examine. Got the one. No, not that one. I know, just let me, just let me do, just let me do, jeez. Cool. Alright, well let's actually... Drop a save here, but this seems cool, actually. I, yeah, it's, it's grown on me. Rough start. The start was extremely cinematic on on rails. Grant, I guess that's the way this game started in 7. So I guess it shouldn't surprise me too much, but I really do think uh, AAA games really have gone that direction way too hard of like, oh, it's gonna be a spectacle. And once again, I know I'm about to play Final Fantasy 16 come uh, like December or January, but um, man, I don't know. It's cool when you can like play and do shit. Go into photo mode just so we can like. All right, all right, all right. Take picture. There we are. I literally just wanted that achievement because I saw that in the achievement list. I don't really give a fuck about the photos otherwise. All right. Um. Let us quit game. Well, I guess we'll save just to make sure we lock that in. I think that gives you, like, points you can use in the main game to get shit. Which, I don't remember seeing that in Resident Evil 2 as an option. I, I don't know. What the fuck is the point of playing through Resident Evil 2 again? I don't understand. Uh, remake. Because here, yeah. Completed the following shits. Photographer and villagers. Yeah, so you get the points... And then you go into extra content shop. And then you can buy stuff with that. Got a couple of Chris's favorite items. If we beat it on hardcore and village of shadows, and get a bunch of S's on mercenary. We can get all this shit. The grenade launcher was cool. I do remember being really, really limited by the inventory spaces in 8. Which... I don't know, when a game becomes too action-y, right? It's kind of like, and like, less survival horror-y and more action-y. It's kind of like when I was talking about System Shock, the remake, where when you limit my inventory and, and like lower the survival horror aspect and increase the action aspect, aspect at that point, just give me, just let me hold a bunch of guns. You know what I mean? Uh, all right, well, let's try mercenaries. Cool. All right, so six levels, already impressive. Two characters, I guess I unlocked more. What are the rewards? Start each stage. Oh shit, it's doing the kind of like the uh, one mode in um, uh, Resident Evil 7, where it's like the shitty like zombies mode. That's not shitty, well, it's not as good as zombies and COD. I mean, I hate fucking co modern Call of Duty, but the zombies mode was admittedly pretty fucking fun. Um. But yeah, but that, the, but like in seven, you kind of get like uh, you have progression.
Here the game wants to access additional weapon customizations in the main story. Uh, ammo capacity doubles. Magic magazine for Ethan. Attack rate increases when the enemy's HP is below 30%. Are these equipable, or do I just have all of these at once? Chris, alright, so it's not gonna tell me in the achievements who I unlock or who the other two characters are. Neat! Alright, I'm interested. Uh, once again, I don't remember how to fucking play this game, though. Is the gay one or is it Ethan? I guess we'll play as the gay one first. Uh, SS, alright. Mercenary's Guide. Um, let's read this. First, shoot any equipment or weapons you need from the shop. Purchase any weapons or equipment you need from the shop. Then when you go out in the field, you need to defeat as many enemies as possible within the time limit, get a good rhythm going, and build up combos for extra points. Once you defeat a certain number of enemies, the goal will appear. Touch the goal to finish and move on to the next area. Repeat more areas to rack up even more points for each stage. You can also touch the yellow orbs for bonus time. Keep the party going. The of orbs are also blue orbs, which give you special abilities. Each one has three random abilities to choose from. Check out all the cool moves that match your fighting style. You keep abilities between areas, so there's no limit to how many you can have either. Also, if you equip the same ability multiple times, you'll become even more effective. Alright, kind of like Diddy Kong Racing. Keep an eye out for all those orbs. Any money or time left over. Well, yeah, I gotta, like, research. Like, why Why was... Why did the extra modes of 2 suck so bad? And is there any, like, extra modes in 3 Remake? Because I know people were... Sh like, even the fanboys, uh, all of a sudden, the new fanboys... That showed up. Fucking all love this shit out too, but like, in terms of extra modes and replayability, I didn't see a whole lot. Maybe there's something I was missing, but I don't know. Speaking of which, here's my theory on that. Uh, let me just like voice this real quick. I think a lot of older gamers, or not older gamers, older games are completely inaccessible to newer games or fucking millennials that haven't touched an old console in like decades. They, like, just refuse to play any PS1 or PS2 game, like, or anything from that generation. Like, if it's older than a 360, they just refuse to touch the fucking thing or find a way to play it. A lot of them do. I think that's changing now with a lot of the DEI shit. A lot of them are, I've noticed on YouTube especially, a lot of, like, Zoomers and Gen Alphas are actually playing older games. It's kind of surprising. Um... But I think that because of that shit, whenever something like Resident Evil 2 gets remade, or more recently Silent Hill 2 gets remade, a lot of motherfuckers are like, yes, I refuse to play those older games. Now I can finally play it. It's like, well, it's your fault for refusing to play it. And this is fucking mad because bad. Jesus Christ. Um. Anyway, that's my theory anyway. Any money or time left over when you reach the goal will be counted towards your final score, along with enemies defeating combos. Your final score determines your rank. The higher your rank at the end of Sage, or the prize you'll get. May the odds be in your favor. Oh, I should probably, uh... Uh, combat specialist, guns and fists. He fists, alright. Yep, and those are usually the sounds that Chris hears. Guns are great for long-distance attacks, but getting close and punch some bad guys, and Chris will get all fired up, increasing his onslaught gauge. Once the onslaught gauge is full... Activate onslaught, greatly increases speed and attack. Be careful, Chris can't block to reduce damage. Or it's good, because I don't block anyway. Or it covers health with items, so take advantage of those brute strength and eliminate your items before they get the better of you. Yeah, alright. This is a big fucking inventory. Um, we got flashbangs. We now have the combat knife for four. We need the combat knife when we can punch. 
and play mercenaries <laughs> out. Oh, God, dude, stop fucking shitting your pants, bro. Jesus. Fucking get a hold of yourself, man. It's like, bring the shit bucket. I need Naturally. it. Uh, the onslaught gauge increases slightly when an enemy is killed with a gun. Onslaught gauge increases greatly when attacking with a left hook, stray punch, uh, target locator. Targeting must be held until the shells drop. Do I want to even buy any of this, or do I want to buy all this shit? Pay me no mind. I could also just upgrade. I'd honestly kind of rather upgrade. Well, I can upgrade my my punch. One moment, please. Yeah, yeah, I remember the fucking controls being like all kinds of whack in this fucking game. Like right click to fucking exit. F to go into it. WASD to move it. But like right click to go in. F to go into a section. F to also buy something. Kind of strange. You don't quite have the cash on hand. Ah, yeah, all right. I'd rather just do that, honestly. Please come again. All right. The punch with space bar. Goals respond. Alright, it looks like there's more shit I could have picked up. Is that good? I, I fucking know whatever this means. Alright, let's just keep going. And then we can upgrade more here. Seeking something in particular. Leave this to me. Choose wisely. Okay, upgrade Your my fist and more up. now. A good deal, if I say so myself. Start. Okay, I gotta remember to search for shit. Um, out of reach, 
Hug this attacks do more damage. Pack increases when switching between enemies. Headshots do more damage. Let's go for that, baby. I wonder, I hope you, yeah, I think you do hold on to these. Um, duration of onslaught increases. Where do I go? Shit, I need to turn that shit down. See that at the end, sorry guys. if it's better to try to kill everyone it probably is better to try to kill everyone if you remember where they are right, hopefully i'm doing good i'm not sure if i'm doing good at all oh we have a bunch of grenades i mean that's fine but let's uh let's shortcut this over to there Wait, large crystal god damn i got a bunch of fucking handgun ammo holy hell uh, examine. Oh, I just sell it. Okay, gotcha. And let me, um, turn down some of the sound effects. I feel like that, like, bleh, that That shit is, like, obnoxiously loud. That sounds fine, right? And no, like, that's another thing I noticed with Resident Evil 2 Remake. Once again, I'm gonna be nitpicking a lot on that game. Um... Yeah, the sound like was like oddly muffled at parts. It's like the 3D audio just didn't oh, fucking good. work. I was just thinking you turning it off didn't improve it either. Let's sell that. This should be enough. So let's sell those. I mean, they're probably useful, but they had to like swap between them. I don't fucking know. Maybe, maybe not. I'll just try to use them. Back. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. I feel like this is what you want. Again, I should be trying to, like, punch more. I really should. Probably is awesome. One moment, please. Till next we meet. All right, uh, all right, let's go for uh, this next one. This guy, it's like round based. Headshots do more damage, recover a little bit of HP, honestly. Yeah. Uh. 
Fuck. Yeah, like it sounds like I don't know. I'm sure it's loud and shit for you guys, but it's like right behind me, and it doesn't make sense because there's no one behind me. Yeah, I remember a lot of uh, a lot of this game mode being a lot of um, like level memorization, which uh, I don't really remember much of anything. But that would require a lot of, like, replay, you know? Do I get bonuses for killing that way or no? It seems like no. Um, cover a little bit of HP when the enemy is defeated. Let's keep doing that, honestly. Alright, where, where the fuck am I? Where am I going? Just run for the goal, probably. Probably get a level completion bonus, I'm assuming, for killing everyone. Oh, I killed everyone. Nice. I get a bunch of points for area score. Alright, that's definitely worth it. Um, yeah, that's... Well, and I guess you get more for the time bonus I got. Uh, money bonus, next area. Wait, I thought it was only three. What the fuck? Oh, I wonder if the ass was fucking half a mil. It probably was, you cocksucker. Hey, now we get extra money at the start. That's nice. Um. Wards. So we got the castle. Oh, this seems very beefy, very arcadey. I kind of got to give a... Wait, why does it say, like, what I need in order to get the S rank? Hmm. Was there, like, multiple S's? I think there was. Yeah, I think you have to start, and there's a little sheet of paper. Um, I don't really care about all S's, but... It looks like you don't even need... No, 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 there we are. Um, S, S rank or above in all non-bloody stages. S rank or above, S rank or above. I mean, we could keep playing this Chris for a little bit. I thought we kind of know what's going on. Stand by. And let's definitely throw the grenades over there. Tacticals. Chris's favorite tactical gloves. 
allows the wearer to perform even more powerful punches. Yeah, and I mean, it's kind of slow. And it's close range only, but you know, you might as well shoot them. But I mean, I guess if you punch them all, you have more bullets to sell and shit. Oh, so it differs by stage. Got it. As you wish. All right, so let's upgrade. Honestly, rate of fire ain't bad. Um, like we could do the dragon or just the handgun. Popping zombies in the head. I'm sure there's like a meta here, but I don't know what that meta is. 125. Yeah, it's like. I guess the handgun does do more fucking damage, but I mean, per round, but you can fire so much with the an assault rifle as you can imagine. Maybe we will do that. One moment, please. One moment, please. Yeah, let's just make the handgun slap asses. That sounds good to me. A good deal. If I say so myself. How much ammo do they give you? Yeah, they give you a fuck ton of ammo for the pistol. Might want to like sell all your shit and just upgrade the fucking pistol all the way. Feel like you'll be fine. You'll be golden. Shit, was there anything in there? There was. No, there wasn't. Fuck. Yeah, that is just pure memorization. Of the level. But oh shit, don't quick turn around, you fucker. Um, anything in here? No. Rifle ammo. Um, all right, so what, I can buy a gun later? Yeah, that's the thing with the mercenaries mode, is it really requires a lot of dedication to get, like, the high rankings. Anything else? Item. Might be worth getting all these. Attack increases when switching between enemies. I feel like that's kind of a waste, honestly. Oh, wait. Uh, fuck. I don't know what that is, what we just grabbed, but we just grabbed it. Because it's trying to click it to highlight it. Goddamn, no, just hover over it. It's kind of unfair that they glow. Unfair for the zombies, I mean. Take that motherfucker to Mike Browntown. Fuck off. All right, what we got here? Slow motion. Um, enemy movement decreases. My speed increases. Handguns do more damage. Well, we are going a hard pistol build. Case in points. Oh, fuck, is it worth going back for the item? No, but we're doing it. Oh, that's annoying. It's fucking maze of shit. All right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The game already spoils your ass with, uh... Yeah, look how much time they give you. I didn't even realize I was counting down. I thought that was counting up. Clear. 
hopefully we're doing good. I don't know if we are. Doing plenty good on the uh, fucking ammo That's count, so Jesus. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, God, mm, I'm so fucking mad. No I'm much. so fucking mad that Resident Evil 2's fucking DLC and like like the extra mode sucks so much ass. And no one seems to give a shit but me. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I feel like that's the difference between a casual RE fan and a fucking hardcore one is, like, do you fucking go out and fucking go mental over playing through the game once? Or are you going to, like, go back again to try the extra modes and try on a harder difficulty and then see how you feel about it? I mean, they're short games. I mean, fuck, you can totally do it. But um, I feel like a lot of people don't. It's like, yeah, well, why not? Fuck. Fuck. Once I gauge increases slightly when an enemy is killed with a gun. Might be good to have. I don't know. Some rifle ammo. Well, we could. And buy it I will. Energize guns. Why not? Let's try that. Choose wisely. Your and life may we depend could on it. fucking sell much shit and get an even more powerful handgun. Also, I kind of like these, uh, like, uh, first I wasn't sure how I felt about this because it means more dedication to one long run of mercenaries, but I kind of like the downtime. Sort of like the strategic element. It's nice. Sell two of those. And then we'll sell however many gets me 10k. There he is. Yeah, like I'm like Pay releasing no WASD money. to hit enter on the keyboard for that. It's kind of bizarre. Um, I know what the fuck they're Do going for. As much as, and I think I was saying this when I was streaming this game for real, like you know the main game. Is as much shit as I give Ubisoft, and I believe that Ubisoft does deserve a lot of shit. They really do. My god, they do. Um, in terms of controls and general menu UI, they get that down. Nothing else. They got that down early and just standardized a lot of that shit, and for whatever reason, Capcom's like, hey, let's change up the control layout for this one again. It's like, what? No. Why are you why why are you doing this? Till next we meet. Start. Have to fight Madame Demen Demescrew. Am I going the right way here? I don't even know. There are 40 enemies, I'm assuming. Fuck. I'll sit there with that one. Oh yeah, that's like, that collapse ass is right there. the strong gun, dude. Alright, I'm wondering if I should turn around and go back the other way. I don't even know. Um, but what do we get accidentally? Initial attack does more damage when the enemy's HP is full. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is doing a lot. Cover a little... Actually, I really like that gruesome gore gourmet. Oh, shit! Clear. 
Oh shit, that's... No, 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 no I didn't mean to do... Oh god. Alright, so that's the end area. Jesus, I had no idea. I thought that was another, like, uh, time thing. So that was not a sphere, so I shouldn't have, uh, gone for it. I have a power-up already powered up. As you wish. Honestly, you can clap asses with that fucking pistol. Jesus. Me no Holy hell, that's what you should go for. Absolutely. Um, and we could just fucking rate of fire, ammo capacity. I mean, we could do a whole bunch of these. We could do all these ones. Delighted to. Fucking improve that a bunch. And then, do we want to sell anything crazy? I really kind of want to hold on to those grenades. Um, this should be enough. I'll sell some of Choose that in order to get another upgrade. Your life may depend on it. Rate of fire, hell yeah! Good day then. Yeah, dude, go the fucking pistol. Jesus Christ, holy hell! You can land your shots, i.e. if you're not playing on controller. It says I miss a bunch of shots. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Choose an ability. Uh, attack speed. Attack increases, but speed decreases. No slot, no, uh, all right. Oh, what the fuck? Alt tab, I must have. Oh, I'm glad it fucking stopped the game for me. That was awesome. No. I can't believe Cassandra caused all this mess. It doesn't matter. You won't. Choose an ability. Uh, damage taken decreases. Sick. Make me tank, Daddy. Be cool if I could check my fucking, uh... Check the fucking menu for shit. Or uh, check the uh, map, I should say. Oh, let's see. Max HP, damage taken decreases. Honestly, just fucking. Seventeen enemies left. Sounds cool. <laughs> so you finally came to see me. Everyone falls for me in time. <laughs> I don't want to stop. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Uh, where am I going? What am I doing? I have full alt. Not there. Where the fuck am I going? Downstairs or some shit? Oh. Yeah, okay. I, I have... Guys, I have no I fucking idea. I have plenty of time. So where where am I going? Up there? How do I get up there? Uh are you serious? Fuck? Alright, it's upstairs, not not near. Jesus. Oh god. Why would you do this to me? Why would you kill me like this? I don't fucking get it. Yeah, it's a lot of fucking level memorization. Jesus. Alright, so we wanted to go there fucking absolutely last. Clear. Jesus. What do we get? Oh, wait, no. We're still going. Jesus. Um, What's the score we need? Oh fuck, we don't even have A yet. Jesus Christ. Here I am thinking we're like really kicking ass. I mean kind of am, but man, we need a bunch of points in this last to make part. A purchase? Hmm. What? Ah, oh, it's fine. All finished. Probably a waste of shit, but. <laughs> we could always just sell our fucking rifle. Is it that much fucking money though? Is it really worth it? I don't know. Maybe it is. I. Good day then. Well, what is? How's it fucking uh? Scoring. Any money or time left over? All right. So it's just money or time. I guess we should sell everything. It's a little risky, but our. Our pistol is so fucking goddamn good. And buy it I will. Um rifle ammo, all that. This should be enough. There we go. All right, we got plenty of money now. Okay, then. I remember I am on like first level, right? Like there's more levels after this one. All brawn, recover a little HP when enemies defeated. Enemies. Oh, fuck yeah. Corpus Combustor. That sounds fucking sick as hell.
Jesus. Now do I go back and try? Yeah, let's try to get all of them. We're getting like so much fucking time. Plus we have the hold all to do super thing. The run back's gonna suck, but I think you get more by doing it this way. I know it might not be worth the risk. That's where we started, I thought. Um, where did this bitch go? I know where this bitch fucking went. Play not seeing her. I know where that bitch went, and that kind of sucks. I had like somewhere around here? Fuck. I think the explosions hurt me. I don't think anyway. So the last thing is that fucking doll bitch, and I have no clue where the fuck she is. Should I hunt her down or just say fuck it? I don't know, part of me really, really wants to find where that bitch is. When you get close, I think the uh, health bar pops up. Already in like sunk cost fallacy territory here. And see her go downstairs. That doesn't mean that she couldn't go downstairs. I mean, like, it could just like bullshit you see her leave and then she just teleports somewhere else. I have no idea. Let's tell her to go like somewhere over here. At least I think. I think uh, her health bar shows up when you get close. Fuck, man. I just want to fucking head out.
Yeah, I might just want to say fuck it. I have no clue. May I might even see her outside. Might be like she teleports around the whole fucking level. She just like, I don't know. As soon as I saw her, I was like wondering what the fuck she was. But now I know her gimmick is she just runs away like a little fucking bitch. That's not it right now. There's just flowers. All right. All right. Well, that's annoying. We lost a lot of time. I mean, I guess we got more points, though. Yeah, but this mode's neat. Um, very arcadey, very easy. Maybe a little bit too easy. Oh, wait. There's that bitch. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. I have to get her. Oh, my God. Pro tip. Switch to your fucking, uh... Oh, I don't have it. Wait, she, does she drop anything? Yeah, she does. Fuck, I was gonna be like, swap to my fucking machine gun. Oh, yeah, the one I sold, yeah. Probably just throwing a grenade would do a shit ton. If I had my ult, I could, like, maybe slow time down or something. Probably the um, one that slows enemies down, I'm assuming, affects that one, too. There we go. All right, we got the fucking A rank. Uh, rewards. Yeah, unlike Village 2. Alright, so it's not all of them, maybe? Oh my god. You, like, use the scroll bar, but, like, the mouse counts as well. And just little things like that is really frustrating. I guess maybe there's just two, le like, extremities? Extremities of each fucking level, maybe? I want to do more of this, which this is fun, admittedly. Hmm. But we're also starting to have fun with the other one as well. Um, we could see what Ethan's deal is, but so far, well, it looks like Ethan has shotgun. Yeah, I think Chris's uh SMG is maybe a bit misleading. We can go to the village again, play as uh, Ethan. Cause you're like, oh, SMG, shoot faster for action. It's like, yeah, but the fucking firepower caps out real low. Stand by. Let's try Ethan Winters, see what he's all about. Uh, base character, wide arsenal, handgun, shotgun, sniper rifles. Um, he's a versatile character, making it easy to try out different fighting styles, select the best guns and stages. Hmm. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. Oh, so I have to buy the weapons. Fuck. Okay, so you start off with a handgun. God damn. Okay. Um, fuck. Three different shotguns, a sniper. I mean, I kind of suck in general with sniper rifles in games. We could try it. See how we uh, do. Me automatic shotgun that focus shot makes a power rifle against single enemies, customizable for more firepower. Pump action shotgun, widespread that's good for suppressing groups of enemies. And this one's just stable and reliable. I mean, a shoddy is a shoddy. I saw you eyeing that one. You have the fucking machine pistol, which is cool. Also, it looks like it has more power than the uh, fucking 1911, which is crazy. And presumably more than my starting pistol. Aha. Um, what do you want here? Yeah, a power 75. Ugh. That is fucking low. Real fucking low. 
I want to sell something, upgrade like my Choose shoddy life. or something. Your life may depend on it. I even sell the pistol straight up. Um, no, I mean, I guess we don't have a whole lot of bullets for it, right? Yeah, we have, we have a bunch of fucking handgun bullets. There he is. All right, so that's some money we could use to upgrade the shoddy firepower one level. Oh, it's fine, all finished. A good deal, if I say so myself. Yeah, let's try the uh, the sniper, or maybe I want. To... Let's try this shoddy. Blow motherfuckers' heads off, and then we can uh, go with the um, sniper once we get some more firepower for that. Start. And I kind of know how this shit works. You want to play fucking mercenaries for four though? I like fucking maxed out that one. All us is all characters and all levels back in the day. That can increase the switching between enemies. Uh, 15 out of 30, so that's half of them. Where are all the... Okay, so not in there. Alright, so you do have some range with a shotgun. It's not, like, ridiculously pathetic. Oh, the corpse gonna bust Oh, all of these are good. Fuck, man. Um. Damage on the HP is full. Fuck, I really do want all these. This would be good with a sniper. This would just be good in general. I might go the corpse combustor. All right, where, where else do I need to go? Got some of the lel and the lull. Fuck, where are these fucking bricks? How do you get them to spawn in? Oh my god. They refuse to show up. Got a mine. Neat.
Oh my god. I have no idea where the fuck. I see a, uh, a time thing over there now. They just like run back and forth and they just spawn in the same spot they were? That's what it looks like. Hang out in the graveyard and they spawn in? I don't fucking know. I'd like to learn how this area works, but fuck if I know how. Yo, there's not a whole lot of places to go. Maybe I go to the start of the stage? Seems weird, but whatever. Wow, I think that is what you do. God, that delay of the corpse explosion is pretty fucking slow, though. Oh, I gotta remember also by sticking around the level, you get more of these, which is pretty cool. I'm guessing there's now a boss in the center of town or some shit. I wish like you could just like touch the fucking thing and you get it or just tap X and you immediately get it. Alright, well we got more sniper ammo. Yeah, you can get more supplies and you can sell more supplies for more money. Kinda there's probably meta. You could probably figure it out on your own or look it up, I don't know. Something like Resident Evil 4, I feel like you can uh just figure it out on your own, but I feel like by having so many areas in one area, like one level having so many um different uh areas just make it take a long time. I guess you can kind of write down your score and be like, all right, this is the time bonus, this is the money bonus, which I prioritize. It looks like it, uh, the money bonus is based off of how much you have just have. So if you, like, wait till the end to buy it, but then your guns are kind of shit. I don't know. The area score seems to give you the most. I, so I guess really, as long as you're, like, if you memorize where the enemies are, kill all the enemies, and then, like, run to the goal and just try to fucking smooth that out as fast as possible, I guess you do pretty well. I guess the meta is just do good. Yeah, maybe we, yeah, it's like you could buy this shit. Shit probably is worth it. Um, handgun's probably trash. It's probably to sell the handgun. At Seventy-five. Hey, what was the other ones? Yeah, this is so much more. I could just ignore it all and just be be a be a sniper man. Either way, I definitely want to sell this. And buy it I will. <laughs> sell like 190 of this shit. I'll get a whole lot of money, but every little bit counts apparently. You don't need that many first aid meds. And mines I feel like would take too long to actually use, you know what I mean? Like they're probably awesome, don't get me wrong, but uh you gotta, like, set them, then run away. There he is. Pipe bomb. I'm fine with that. Can get that shit out a lot faster. Got 39 shoddy, 39 sniper. 
This yeah, you hit like investment. escape and you don't go back. So I had to like reach back to the mouse and right click. You know, you gotta hit enter. Oh, fucking no, man. This is weird. I gotta be like all over the control, uh, the keyboard and the mouse. Like it's a fucking game from the, uh, like a Western RPG from the early 1990s. It's like, what the hell were they thinking? So the Lemmy is a piece of shit. The M1911, though. Like these, you, these you probably do pretty fucking well with. Um, honestly, let me just upgrade what I got, though. Aha! Yeah. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications. Till next we meet. Let's make those sniper shells Darn. fucking good as we possibly can. Fucking bricks. I didn't even see him. Yeah, the 3D audio in this game, I really don't think does a good job at all. Everything's just loud as shit. Probably just turn it off. Okay, let's do that. Oh my god, like yeah, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. A virtual surround. They good heads. Uh, audio output device. It's headphones. Is that why? It's like, oh yeah, you're using TV, right? It's like, no, dickhead, I'm not. I think I want to turn that back on and see if that improves it. Don't shoot me in the face. There we are. Anyone else? No, the 3D audio still is just like all over the place. It's, oh my god. I don't know, it's just weird. Like, how did they fuck up audio? I feel like they did the same thing with uh, Resident Evil 2 remake. I feel like they probably made it awesome for if you're playing on TV, but if not... I mean, I've said this before, Mike, a play about the Japanese, uh, at least it used to be a much more pronounced. They would only have, like, TV in mind for, uh, gaming, you know, console and shit. <laughs> Assassination Dash. Oh, it would be fun to play with a knife. I don't know how fun. Maybe, maybe it's awesome, but I don't know. Thick skin damage taken decreases. Close combat does more damage. All right, I guess we'll be hanging out. I'm not sure if that's like only knife only. I guess I would only say, uh, let's say melee. Probably should have gone for uh, damage taken. Yeah, 
Okay, now they're like shooting again and shit. I don't know fucking from where. That's just his body, Jesus. Mr. Body's body, it's gone. No scope, baby. I hear you shooting me. I hear them shooting me. Fuck. Yeah, we only got like one minute. For the life of me, I, I don't know where the fuck he's shooting from. Oh, wait, there he is. Got one minute, got some time with that. Yeah, Sniper's pretty sick. Takes a long time, though. Any guns are fast, as long as you're aiming right. I feel like you don't need the Sniper. I mean, you're no longer taken when guarding. I could try that. Like, never remember to guard. Clear. Doesn't really matter. Score there. Uh... And all right, so yeah, I feel like around this point you're always like in between A and B. Yeah. At least I am, I should say. Once again, level learning. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. Choose wisely. Your life may depend on it. Sniper is good and all. Let's fucking up this. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. And next is the last one, so we're just dumping all that. Honestly. Fuck it. Mm. Yeah, you don't really need to use... Like, you have so much firepower. If you're taking damage, Jesus Christ. Maybe in, like, the, the second rank ones, maybe you take a lot more. I don't know. That one seems more... Uh, yeah, I could try to map that to a but uh, button. Please come again. Hey, let me just uh, remap these real quick. Shortcut. Yeah, like it's like you're using keyboard and mouse, but like you're constantly swapping between shit. It's, it's fucking awkward. Yeah, click it, or I guess you could highlight it, hit OK. Then three, but then you can't do that, so then you have to hit F again. It's not enough that I just hit F. I... Fuck. Whatever. I don't know, maybe, maybe it is a good idea to just go hardcore knife. Probably fun, some fun runs people if have on this one. Looking, window shop away. I guess even figuring out how you can go through it without the need to spend any money. I mean, you get so much fucking ammo. I mean, why not? And in fact, it's, that might even be a better option, but man, it is fun taking these, you know, souping up a fucking gun a bunch. Delighted. I guess we're upgrading that again. Sick. Thank you for your patronage. Honestly, I feel like you could probably get by with just using one gun, selling everything else.
Uh, adrenaline, shotgun master, shotgun master, we go. Shit, come on, dickhead. Just reload, dickhead. Like, where? Like, god damn, it sounds like they're up my asshole. Holy shit. God damn. Yeah, look that up. I can't be the only one because I remember running that issue before in Resident Evil 2. I was running to it. Every other game is fine, so it's definitely a fucking settings error of uh, how the fuck they optimize this shit. that just leads back around got it had to learn the fucking levels huh It's not bad. Not particularly good, but not bad either. Gets the job done. Gets you in the zone. Elbron. Adrenaline. Hey, do thick skin again, or just, uh, yeah, I mean. What do we have so far? We have thick skin, okay. You get double thick skin, or just adrenaline. That fast fucking HP heal. everyone there's one more somewhere oh look another power up not that it matters this late in the fucking game everyone's already dead i'm at the very end um yeah break shot would have been great as a starter for that fucking uh, sniper definitely finished october run of re7 yeah uh, that's the best of the series um it's in my top three so i don't want to you think I'm hard disagreeing with you. I do like four OG and one OG more. But seven is in my top three. That is a fucking damn good game. And uh, one of my favorites in the series. Um, Yeah, like honestly, just those three. Those three are like why I keep playing Resident Evil. Who the heck's that guy? Is, uh... 
yeah i don't know like like especially seven seven's bonus modes too seven has like just so much fucking content in it as well that it's i, I feel like that's the main strength of that game all right interesting so we got ace for both if i memorize the levels i could probably do a lot better with that one factory i wonder what these final three are yeah what difficulty just standard um no one look at all this Build the user storming castle hero of the village. Can I buy any more? No, the next thing I probably want is the dragoon. <laughs> yeah, unlock anything to get down here. The infinite ammo, uh, grenade launcher. So dragoon, alright. Ford is legendary, but not too much to get shit. I mean the game. Yeah, a Ford is very arcadey, but like it's also very campy. It's just fun upgrading shit. It's just a good time. But yeah, seven. Seven is the most scary. Um, one I like. It's fucking campy, dude. How are you doing, Videograms? Hopefully you're having a good night as well. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like one is just it's just cool, tactical, spooky house. Are you getting the Sound Hill Two remake? Maybe eventually once the uh, price drops a bit. Definitely not getting it like that launch, but um, I'd be interested to fuck around with it. Um, from what I've been seeing, it seems to be pretty good. It doesn't seem to have too much DEI bullshit. in it which is good um i'm sure there's some of that in there maybe i don't know but I, I haven't seen anything i know some people have been saying the uh the lights like the fluorescent lights in the strip club it's like oh they made this bitch a fucking fat bitch but i looked it up that that chick um has a like the fluorescent bitch has a slight gut in the original as well um so that's just that's misinformation that's fake news um, so I'm not, I'm not sure what other, like, shit they add or took away, I don't fucking know, but it seems to do a decent enough job. I've actually never played one minute of the Silent Hill series. Um, one and two are great. I like one actually more. Uh, it depends. How, how comfortable are you going back to old games? I know some motherfuckers, they look at, like, PS1, PS2 games, even, and they're like, oh my god, how, how did people play these games? Oh my goodness. I only play the newest games. They're fucking cunts about it. Um, <laughs> if that's you, I would not recommend them. But uh, if you're comfortable going back to a PlayStation 1 game, Silent Hill 1 is great. It controls well. It looks good. has a cool story. It's not too long. Um, it's not too hard either. It's really not. I know sometimes like, difficulty can uh, push people away, but... I have all the alone in the dark. I have fatal frames. Parasite Eve just never played Silent Hill. Interested? Yeah, I would recommend it. Really, um, Silent One Hill One is uh, like more like Cthulhuian, and um, Silent Hill Two is more like uh, fucking um, just abstract. Yeah. I right, um, let's uh, let's fuck around a little bit more on Shadows of the Rose. Maybe get like. Two more um, save points in. I'm kind of like jumping around here like a fucking maniac. And uh, I might not like stream the rest of this, but like I think I would fuck around with this in my free time. Honestly, like I feel like much like seven, like I played it initially and I was like, yeah, it's pretty fucking good. And then like the next year I played through the extra content. I'm like, all right, that's very, very good. Here, I was like, well, Resident Evil 8's alright. Like, and it is. It's, it's a pretty good game. I'd say it's kind of like in the middle if I had to rank the series. Um, but, uh, yeah, the fucking extra mode's pretty fun. I'm liking it. I'm, uh, I'm impressed. Some of the best games ever made were in the 1990s. I agree. There's fucking dickheads, though, out there that, like, they cannot stand anything remotely fucking aged it's i don't know man it's insane i and it's a lot of those like you know like console dickheads honestly they're like oh i only play the fucking newest biggest fucking game fuck you i'm not playing anything that's not brand fucking new and i'm spending full price on all of it yeah there's some there's some fucking uh Millennials that are the same fucking way like that though, videograms. It's not exclusively um, Zoomers and Gen Alpha. In fact, I've, I've noticed a lot more 
uh, Gen Alpha uh, and um, Zoomers getting into older games, surprisingly. I had to say is... To that is check out Ultima 7 Part 2. Gotcha, is that one rough? Gameplay-wise, or is it uh, real fucking good? I don't know. Uh, what do you think? Because I, I played a... Gen Alpha is... Uh, no Gen Alpha is not all yet. Are they? They're getting fucking close, aren't they? Because Zoomers are, like, fucking in their 20s at this point, dude. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I think Gen Alphas are fucking, uh... They're getting up there. Almost, like, fucking 18, dude. If not at it. Um, I do not recall a single thing. Not who I am, nor how I came to be. I know nothing. My memories are as broken as the face I hide behind this mask. All that remains is this feeling, this hunger, to see others in pain. Spare in their eyes, the sound of their screams. Who will be my next query? I have a minion to do my bidding. He has many faces and no brain to those skulls. He's my best hound, and he will chase those rabbits down. Let's see, okay, so you're saying Al Ultima Seven Part Two is good? Gotcha. Yeah, I streamed uh, Ultima One and Two. Uh, one, I you know, I appreciate it for what it is. Two was a little bit rough. I, I have a thumbnail ready for three, so I'm going. I, I plan on playing through all of the shit. What was Gen Alpha or 14? What's the fucking spread for um, Zoomers then, Videograms? It's gotta be pretty fucking intense uh, spread, right? It's like, I'm one of the fucking uh, younger Millennials. Oh, nice. Oh, I need the one. Gotcha. It's my key item. Got it, got it. Alright, so if I look at my map, it's still red. Yeah, over here before we go upstairs. It's 18 years per generation. That's a crazy spread. My 45th birthday tomorrow. Okay, Boomer, you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, <laughs> where, where the fuck am I going? <laughs> That's amazing. I stream such fucking old shit. I really do. No, I, I was raised with two older brothers, so I mean, I, a lot of what I was... Like, I've always been into older shit, and so that, uh, made me, um... Oh, I know video gra videograms. It's a joke. It's a joke. Relax. Anyone, anyone older than, uh, 38, you call a boomer. <laughs> yeah, anyone, anyone older than, like, 25, you call them a boomer, just to fuck with them, truly. Um, fuck, what, what was I just saying? Uh, fucking Ultima. Yeah, I plan on playing all the Ultimas, or yeah, you know, at least all like the mainline ones before online. But um, uh, it's gonna take me a bit because some some of them can be quite chunky. I don't know what to use. Oh, what's good, Luminoth? How you doing, dude? Uh, how's your weekend going, man? Oh, nice. We got a key there. I really need a map. I mean, I'm gonna be in every room anyway. Ooh, chem fluid. Fuck yeah. Uh, what, what are, where are we at? So we're a little bit dinged up. We got two chem fluids. Or, um, first aid meds. So let's go handgun ammo, because honestly, we kind of need more of that. I know what a, <laughs> what Umer I am, but I enjoyed Legos. G.I. Joe's. Ditto just, sorry, I mean, that's Gen X, but I mean, still. <laughs> Showbiz Pizza. I read that as like the Samurai Pizza Cats. I don't know why. Spider painting. What the fuck? Okay. Predators stand united, each staring down their prey. Uh. Frog. Right? <laughs> right? Is this good? I don't fucking know, dude. Alright, I feel like I'm missing a painting anyway. We'll be back. These are looking that way. Those who can't remove. The sheep would have to be next to. Yeah, because that, that guy right there is looking over that sheep. And that sheep is going to be looking at its prey, which is grass. 
Uh, ba 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 14 years for Gen Z, 11 years for Millennial. Actually, the generational ranges for newer generations make no sense to seem arbitrary. I don't think they're entirely arbitrary. I see what they're going for. I think the idea is that, like, the, uh, the, like, the shared culture, like, the window of shared culture is getting thinner and thinner as we move faster and faster. You know what I mean? Let's go collect a G. How you doing? Uh, just hand, chilling, chilling, chilling. What kind of new shit you've been playing, if anything? Um, I got too many names to focus on. Y'all motherfuckers need to all have the same name. So that way I can treat you as one person, collectively as chat. And my brain can age more gracefully than it currently is. Because right now, oh my god. Uh. Alright, superpowers, go! Ludicrous speed, go! Booted up Spark the Electric Jester last night. Uh, how was that? I've never even heard of that. What the fuck is that on? Pretty fun Sonic clone. Gotcha, is it an indie game? Hmm. Alright, well, if we look in our map, we got everything here. This is spooky, but now we can go through here. Easy. Not that we want to or need to. The name Gen Z makes no sense. I cover some millennials, some Gen Z. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, the names, they, they... I don't know why. I feel like as soon as they named the one that one generation Gen X, is like, eh. It's gonna bite them in the ass. It's, it's like when they were naming the vitamins. Fucking stop! Jesus Christ! Stay still, you fuck! Alright, anything else over here? Superpower, where? Over here, let's... I think you gotta look at it. With your magic superpower. Yeah, I kinda thought that her superpower would be cooler than it is. What that say? In here? Alright. Uh, there's things chasing me in here, but where is it? The monocular key was supposed to be somewhere. Down this room, though, it must be close by. Um, alright, well. Thank you for moving that. Yay. Thank you, crazy ass demon ghost thing, whatever the fuck you are. Pretty sure it's the consciousness of your parents, right? Because I think they're supposed to be dead here in this time. Uh, take this. Oh, we're getting slowed down now. Nice. Oh, this is the room. Like there are more of these. This is the fucking room. Ooh, that, that's the room where my previous PC had slowed down. Everything else was running fine. So bumping everything to max settings, uh... It's a little spooky doing it here. Uh, do, I, do I lower everything briefly until I get out of here? I mean, that's how it, was, it worked the previous one. I had to, like, lower everything to the basic settings and leave the room and bump it up. This is like a cursed room in this game. I don't fucking get it, guys. Uh. Lower that to 0.5. Is that a big, big boost? Kind of. Yeah, actually. Yep, alright, we'll just lower that. I'm just trying to find the one setting we need. That seems to be the one setting we need. Whoa. Fucking bitch. Oh, we got some weird thing. God, they're trying to, like, talk to me while, like, I'm fucking with settings and demons are fighting me. 
I think I now have like mana at the bottom. I see some like Ori in the Blind Forest notes. Never actually play that. I might play that on my own time on like my Steam Deck. I'm not sure I would stream it. I don't know, unless you guys think that'd be a good stream. I don't think I know. Maybe it would be. I, I do have more than enough to stream, uh, to play on my own time off stream. Dev behind Ori actually had a Twitter chat moment. Yes, I did see that. Um, we're talking about that on the Discord. I don't even know. Spring of White Sage. The fuck? Why? Why would he use that? Oh, I don't want to use that. Fuck you. All right, I was probably supposed to use superpower on that one zombie that just popped up. Whatever. I'll use some fucking of my uh, bullets. Screw it. Um, Necker Key is supposed to be in the room. Oh shit! God damn! Alright, so it just like stops him briefly, which I mean, I guess it's fine. I mean, we killed one. Oh fuck! But yes, the uh, Dev Beyond Ori talking shit on like a, a Melissa, like Alyssa Mercante, the bitch on like Kotaku, who's literally a fucking ex prostitute, literally is worth nothing on Earth, fucker. Yeah, some bitch from Microsoft. He started. No, I think she was from Kotaku. I don't think she was from Microsoft. He kept like bullshitting uh, where she was from and who she worked with. I don't know. Maybe she was from Microsoft though. Uh, started beef with anti DI people and accused. As an excuse to shadow box her ex. Yeah, she's having a meltdown being like, fucking gym bros. You guys need to be heckin' good, valid people. You're the one with the problem, not me. Claim to work on Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I forget that I forgot there's two different Ori games. Are both Ori games good? I know the Blind Forest one. How did uh Will of the Wisp? What's the general consensus on that one? Hmm. It's previously discussed disrupting the Auto inducers within the MME site network can have destabilizing effects on the mold. The effects can also be observed in beings formed of mold rather than the cellular disintegration observed in sclerotia. However, this instead presents a dramatic slowing of movement, practically freezing the being in place of other bodies for close proximity to the target. The disruption effect can spread only within a very limited sphere. That's why I hit two before. See, both are critically acclaimed. Gotcha. Am I done with this one? All right, we're just gonna lure this fucker in here. Go over here. Yeah, let's save some of our bullets and our mana. What's supposed to do? Oh, that thing. Didn't really have time to look around. Hmm. There's select few indie games that have become my favorite games from that era. I feel like that was a golden age of indie games. Um, a lot of them were really good, and it wasn't. There was like, as soon as like motherfuckers saw there's money and like, oh, people want shit that's not AAA game devs, they like swarmed that indie game. Um, space and immediately had like way too many. Um, shit. <laughs> Wait, that oh, shit. Siri bot used the uh, ad block term cheap viewers. Alright, so guys, don't ever use the term cheap viewers. I think you'll get auto banned. 
I know why you guys would use that otherwise. They're like, I fucking hate these cheap viewers. Also, don't test it because I'm too, I'm too fucking lazy to unban y'all motherfuckers. What am I supposed to fucking do here? So that's tied there. Sheep are definitely... I, I feel like that part is right, though, right? Spider eats butterfly. Frog eats uh, spider. I was supposed to find another uh, painting somewhere. Uh, so you have the monocular key. Wasn't there like a, a chest we just saw? With the monocular key? Where the fuck was that? I was down there. Harry. Oh, are we really that fucked up? I guess so. We didn't. Eh. Fine. We'll use it. Jeez. I can honestly, we could make another one of these just to have, but uh, I'd rather have more fucking ammo. I said to be better at not fucking that up. The dust and lazy and tail. I hear really good things about that. Cave store. Hear good things about that. Of course, party. Haven't heard. Triple uh, quad. It was synced V. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I streamed that one. That's a good one. It's a great one. Great music. What was over there? Take a look at that first. <laughs> v to the sixth power. All right, I guess I could say it that way, too. Stay safe. I'm trying, but it's hard when I'm being hunted by a demented giant and his creepy minions. Yeah, I guess I can't fight them all. Give me an item, give me an item, give me an item. Oh fuck. Come on. Went in, but nothing happened. Okay. Need a different um, thing for that one. Probably wrapping up stream soon. It's fucking one and... Um, just because the game seems a lot longer than I was led to believe by fucking chat months ago. Uh, Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines. I am going to have to um, like fucking do like four to five hour streams Sunday and Saturday morning. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna open up and oh shit, I forgot about you. How long have you been there, dickhead? We came back here, jeez. Safe here. Good to remember. Tired. I'm fine, but what about you? Is that why your words are fading? <laughs> Stop making me use my power, fucking bitch. Oh, thanks for the ammo, though. Fuck yeah. Thank you, presumably, mom and dad conscience. Collectively. Would have been nice to have earlier. Alright, we got a little bit more money. Or, uh, more ammo. Had a whole lot of ammo, though. Jeez. Here's, I used my psychic power to give you three bullets. It's like, if this is like some sort of crazy-ass dream conscious world, you can give me a little bit more than that. Fuck you. Fuck is this shit? Oh, we can just go through here and then grab it. Yeah, I might just say fuck it and complete this on my uh, own time, honestly. Seems neat. I've already streamed uh, quite a bit of Resident Evil 8. Honestly, the thumbnail I made, I mean, I know I like threw Big Titty Woman on it because, you know, Madame uh, Dimitri too. But, uh, my god, people are coomers. They were clicking the living fuck out of that uh, first video. Yeah, and you always suck, because if I have, I have, like, a bitch with two big titties on a thumbnail, and, like, I notice that there's a shit ton of views, then usually the dislike ratio is higher, because you're like, oh my god, I was expecting porn here on YouTube, and said I hear this fucking autist go on and on and on about how video games used to be so much better. It's like, they have been, you dick. Fuck you. Oh, nice. That would have been good to have. All right. Uh, damn it. What does it do? Greatly increases firepower. Fuck yeah. 
kind of wish I held on to more bullets to make the most of it. My Pokemon Yellow Reviewer got a lot of viewership <laughs> for reasons, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes you just want to throw a fine bitch on a thumbnail, that's all. And there's not even, like, anything else you want to do. You just want to throw a bitch on a thumbnail. Like, I don't really have any, uh... Like, I'm not like, oh, they're all going to click on it because of this. It's like, no, I'm like, yeah, let me throw a big titty bitch on it. This one, it makes sense. You have a, a giantess on it. And well, then motherfuckers get all pissy. God, this bitch is slow as shit. Oh, am I out of all this? I guess we can, uh... Oh, some Metamucite power. All right, get fucked. All right, so yeah, it's kind of metroidvania -y. You uh, get powers, unlock new paths, and go through new doors. I mean, it's not like super metroidvania -y. It's, uh, you know, far from it, but like it's something, you know? And um, even though the Ethan Winters, what, like Return of, whatever the fuck it's called. Longest Winter, whatever the hell the D DLC pack is. You really only get two extra modes. I mean, they can be like, oh, but you also get third per you can play third person mode in the main game. And it might also give you an extra difficulty in the main mode, maybe, but you know, who gives a fuck? But um Yes, there's only two modes, but they're uh they're pretty fun, both of them. Got a very, very action-y arcade -y mode. And then I don't know, kind of like a cool story-ish uh like light, light Metroidvania. It's interesting. I don't know. It's, it's more than Resident Evil fucking 2 gave you. In fact, before I fucking call end of stream, let's uh throw on some music. I'm gonna fucking look at some of this shit. While you look at my fine, fine bitches. What the fuck is that? AMD auto update. This is AMD Auto Update.exe. <laughs> what is this? What is this control? This uh, control prompt up. Am I am I safe to exit out? I'm gonna do it. Let's fucking completely annihilate my goddamn computer. Just brick it on stream. Uh, hold up. Let, let me throw on some music and we'll, we'll look at this shit together. Cause I'm curious. I'm curious why people seem to be so hard on the DLC for um, this game, and then it, it, they seem to. I haven't looked at it yet. But they seem to like it a lot more for Resident Evil 2, even though, I, in my opinion, that's kind of a shittier game. In the meantime, we'll listen to Cozy Fall Music by Zabble VGM. Fucking great. Well, this is the Life is Strange soundtrack. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know, man. Alright, so let's, let's look at the, the Winter's expansion. Right now it's got like a 65 recent, a 67 all-time review on Steam, which is pretty fucking low. Uh, Shadows of Rose DLC is horrendously garbage, nothing more to be said. Shadows of Rose DLC is absolute garbage. I know, it's like, is it that much worse than some like, uh, was it like the Agent Ada shit in Resident Evil 4? This uh, one of the highest ones is saying, "Oh, Shadows of Rose is so worth it. I love all the creepy, beautiful, heart wrenching." Oh, right now. Um, about heart wrenching, maybe the end. It. I feel like the ending's pretty uh, telegraphed. Glad I didn't get this at uh, upvote. Glad I didn't get this at full price. Yeah, I guess we can fucking show this shit. I'm glad I didn't get this at full price. Feels like this DLC wants you to do resource management, but at the same time makes you deal with enemies in type spaces. Yada yada yada. One of the times I wish Steam has a med button. I agree with that. I always said I I do wish there was like an in between. Maybe it gets like I don't know dr brings the average more close to fifty percent. You know, instead of like a downvote, bring it closer to zero versus a hundred. I don't know. Maybe. But then again, if you look at gamers' reviews in general, all right, you always see like five stars or zero stars. Oh, it's 0 out of 10. This game is the fucking worst game ever. Oh, it's 10 out of 10. This game is like the greatest game ever. And it's like, oh, there's a fucking area in between, dickheads. Jesus Christ. Um, worth it on sale if you like mercenaries. I say didn't have high expectations. A lot of reused assets. That is true. 
but it usually is a lot of reused assets, but it is like very reused. I agree with that. Um, they did something interested with it. I think they did do something interested, interesting with it personally. Uh, if you want mercenaries mode, it's a neat addition, but it isn't worth $20. Well, that's why you buy it on sale, dickhead. Um, I'll just get the gold edition. Yeah, and I feel like that's what most people get. I will say, Capcom is very, very good at doing sales. Especially recently. Like, they practically give their fucking games away. And there's usually, like, once or twice a year, they'll do a Humble Bundle. And Humble Bundle has sucked the last, like, fucking five years. But... Um, there's a couple game companies that do put out pretty good Humble Bundles. Capcom is one of them. Uh, so keep an eye on that. For those of you interested in that kind of shit. Get this for Mercenaries, Shadows of the Rose. I like how it's like, downvote. I like Mercenaries, Shadows of the Rose sucked. Worst piece of RE content I've ever played. That's, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. That's surprising. Dollar been Silent Hill. I mean, I don't know, what'd you expect? I mean, I'm not saying I'm like in love with it or anything, but it doesn't seem that bad. Then again, I am like only in, like uh, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half in, two hours, something like that. If you want to buy this for the third person view? Don't. It's a scam because you don't even see Ethan's face. I love how they <laughs> they fucking bought it. Like, uh, yeah, you twenty dollars, scam guy. I want to see Ethan's face. No. But yeah, like I don't know why you would play the main game in third person. I think it's kind of like a phoned in edition. I, I don't think that sound, sounds like great, but I don't know why you would want it. Even if given the option for free, I'm like, yeah, let me choose first person. Uh, let's see. Decent DLC, mainly for the Shadow of Rose expansion. Man, these motherfuckers are really split on that uh, Shadows of Rose one. Some people are like, oh, it's great. Others are like, oh, it's shit. Um, really want closure for a character? Well, she was a baby, and the entirety of the game except the final cutscene so I I don't really is this, do people really give a fuck about her character? I don't but I mean I'm liking the expansion though all the same um and this all the guy's also fixated on not seeing Ethan's face it's kind of I don't I get why Capcom hid Ethan's face in RE7 that never bothered me I don't fucking know it's you don't see his face it's all <laughs> it's kind of it's Kind of funny. It's like uh, it's like Austin's power. It's Austin Powers' penis. You, you never get to see it. Um, can't believe I enjoyed Mercenaries more than the base game. Lamau, it is pretty good. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's better than the base game, but it's pretty fucking good. They're really nitpicky. That's Steam reviews in general, dude. That's why. That's why I always read the downvotes and upvotes. Not like all of them, but a couple of them before I even buy a game. Because every game is going to have some faults and some strong aspects. Um, except the games I absolutely hate. Those games absolutely don't have any strong aspects. I call it. I win. <laughs> Fuck you, Pop Missy 13 and Sonic Adventure 2 and fucking World of Horror. There's a couple others I probably hate a lot. Um, anyway. <laughs> Oh, uh, Collected G, I did watch some of that video here, uh, with the two dudes, the cyber shell and that other, the, like, Irish brick that sounds Canadian, which is really bizarre. And, um, I, I is cyber shell, even the comments are saying cyber shell is, like, infinitely more likable. And that Irish dude is, like, an uber autist. But, uh, I don't know, it's kind of funny hearing a little bit of it. I've never played Heroes, but I'm sure it's shit. And, um, I, I was not a fan of Sonic Adventure 2, as you know, I, I, I know, honestly, I feel like uh, most people on the Discord like Sonic Adventure 2. But, uh, man, I like 1. I like 1 and 2, I was just like, ah! It's like Empty, I feel like Empty only enjoys like 4 horror games and that's it. It's okay. Empty is really weird because he's really bad at a lot of video games. He's, he's good at a few, but then he always plays on the hardest difficulty. And, like, the first time playing, and he's like, Oh, this game is shit! Why am I doing bad? And I'm like, I'm not sure if he does it as a bit or not. Gassy seems to think that's not a bit, but... It's so weird. Why would you play on the hardest difficulty on, like, the very first time you're playing a game? I mean, once again, I'm not saying, like, go full bitch mode and play easy, but, yeah, play normal. See how the intended difficulty is. 
Um, because then also, if you really like it, then you have replay value right there. You can play the game again in hard mode, right? Alright, so Resident Evil 2. Yeah, 96, recent and all time. I disagree with that. I feel like it should be 80. And I said that much in my review, which four people said it found helpful. And also, of course, I get the gesture. <laughs> it's always like, no matter what review you post, if, if it's a downvote for a video game, some motherfucker is going to give you a gesture. Like, I'll show him! Shakes fists at the sky. Let's take a look at... Oh, God. N Never mind. Um, the DLC is all fucking cosmetic bullshit in uh, Resident Evil 2. Oh, except all in-game... Oh, my God, really? Five dollars. All in-game rewards unlocked. Overwhelmingly positive. 95%. Come on, guys. Guys, come the... F guys, come the fuck on. Show some fucking... Self-respect. Show some dignity. Have some standards. Have principle. God damn. And the fucked up thing is, that's kind of one of my issues. A lot of the... Uh, Unlockables for the main game in Resident Evil 2 are really, really, really grindy. And it's on purpose! It's on purpose to sell this shit! Oh my god, I, um, an original soundtrack, 20 bucks? Seriously? I mean, I know it's 19, but fuck it, 20 bucks. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I don't know, so, so the extra modes are included in the game, base game, which is fine, but the extra modes of Resident Evil 2 Remake, frankly, suck dick. You're better off playing the main game, but after you've played the main game once with Leon, once with Claire, you're done. I don't know. I feel like this game deserves like an 8 out of 10. Not a, like 9.5, which is pretty much what it currently has. I actually like Resident Evil 8 more. Full stop. Here you can see my Resident Evil collection. A lot of these I haven't played. I played a lot of the mainline ones, but a lot of these like spin-offs, like Resistance and shit. Revelations and haven't played. Some of them I hear all right. <laughs> Swipes credit card. I don't really want that item. I know, right? It's like fucking enraging. Fucking, fucking modern gaming. Anyway, guys, uh, that was it. I, I'm, I'm glad that this, this part um, was better than Resident Evil 2 uh, Remake. Doing the extra modes there. But not as good as when I streamed Resident Evil 7's bonus content. I believe that was last year's Spooktober shit. Or was it, or was that the previous one? I don't even remember. That was really good. I really like that. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for the stream. It's late, but uh, I do appreciate you guys dropping in, as always. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. Much love, and peace out.